Dr. J here. I am talking about 12 foods that will help you lower your cholesterol. Okay, so remember that cholesterol isn't necessarily at all the problem. It's inflammation in the body that's the problem. And yes, some cholesterol can become rancid. Okay, but in the meantime, we're looking for inflammation in the body and how to quiet it down and get your cholesterol, your LDL, and your cholesterol ratio under control. That's the real one when you're looking at your blood work is the cholesterol ratio. So let's get started, okay? Number one would be the mighty vegetables, okay? Vegetables are green, bright green ones. I want you to go with the darkest, luscious colored vegetables, okay? They'll be high in fiber. High fiber will lower your cholesterol, okay? High fiber, green, beautiful, bright colors, huge antioxidant properties that are good for you. So I love spinach, kale, chard, dandelion greens. They're a little bitter, but I like that. You can use sprouted um, broccoli in there. You can have any kind of uh, an avocado, which I'll get into in a little bit, but um, any kind of green, bright, deep, deep, dark vegetable because we're not getting enough servings of vegetable a day will bring down the cholesterol naturally and give you antioxidants and boost your um, arterial wall inflammation, okay? All right, so the second one would be nuts, okay? Almonds, hazelnuts, um, and we're looking for the monounsaturated nut family. Okay, even the um, a walnut because it's high in omega three, very good for you. Um, number three would be chia and flaxseed. Okay, boom. Pay attention here. Chia, either whole or ground, and ground flaxseed. Three tablespoons of any of those a day will help you in six weeks. You'll have a notable change. Okay, in your cholesterol level. So that's number three, it's high in fiber and loaded with antioxidants, okay? Number four would be olive oil, okay? Your olive oil, oh, it's so good for you. It's, it's monounsaturated, it's oleic acid, um, um, omega-9, so it de deflames you, and it's a huge antioxidant. You want the olive oil that's extra virgin olive oil that smells and tastes like an olive. <laughs> Okay, not to pretend when you unscrew the lid and you smell it. If you can't smell olives, put it back and get something else, okay? It's not, it's, it's good warmed and cooked, but not, not so much cooked. Cold and warm, not cooked with so much. You can use coconut oil or avocado oil, but anyway, so olive oil, a huge source of antioxidants, super, super um, polyphenol deal here, monounsaturated, go with it, okay? And then next, number five, would be avocados, okay? Avocados are loaded with fiber, loaded with monounsaturation. They are um, have vitamin E in them. They're just so good for you, too. And you, the, the, they cream up whatever you make, and guacamole is fabulous, obviously. It's just awesome, so it's a superfood to me. Um, okay, so next, number six, would be salmon. Salmon is loaded with antioxidants. That's why it's pink. Okay, so it's, it's, you're not going to get the fiber because it's animal protein, but you're going to get the antioxidants you need and then omega-3, DH, um, DHA, EPA. Okay, those two, we are getting infl decreasing inflammation with the mighty salmon two, three, four times a week, okay? And so remember that cholesterol is good. Some cholesterol can get rancid and cause inflammation, the unhealthy cholesterol in the body. But the problem is because inflammation is occurring and cholesterol gets to the scene of the crime, okay? It's not the issue. You wanna look at your cholesterol ratios, okay? Just a side note, just wanna cap that. Okay, so then, Gluten-free grains, whole grains, okay? So <sighs> millet, buckwheat, um, amaranth, oh yeah, quinoa. How can I forget that? Quinoa, the dark quinoa, the darker the quinoa. You can get the other quinoa, but the darker has the higher antioxidants, okay? You're going to make sure you consume your grains with some fat of some sort because it'll help you keep your carb count low, won't spike your blood sugar. 
but it's high in, they're high in fiber and high in antioxidants, especially the be more beautiful the color is, okay? Um, you could use cassava too, that's from yucca, so it's a plant-based, so it's not a whole grain, it's a, it's a plant, plant protein, but I use that too occasionally. Um, also, geez, the Mighty Green Tea, it's so good for you, it's so good for you, it's so loaded with antioxidants and polyphenol, so it really decreases inflammation in the body. Yeah. Green tea, just another side note, it decreases the oxidative stress in the arterial walls, so that in and of itself is just bueno. Okay, so green tea, I drink it every day. That is my fix. In the morning, a very large green tea with a little splash of lemon in there. <laughs> Okay, number nine would be beans and legumes. Okay, so this is a little touchy because beans and legumes are high in lectin. So if you have an inflammatory gut problem, you really don't want to consume these. In beans and legume category, cashews are that, peanuts are that. I never really recommend peanuts, just don't. Cashews, I love the taste, they don't love me, so I don't eat them, um, but very rarely. Um, you want to cook them under pressure to kill off the lectins, the beans, and the legumes, okay? Also, number 10, is it number 10? Yeah, number 10 would be turmeric. Um, in the supplement form, you'd hear it as curcumin. You can use it as spices, add it to your foods. You can drink golden milk at the end of the day. Of course, you would wanna use grass-fed if you don't have any dairy problems, but you can also use walnut milk and almond milk to make a golden milk at night to decrease inflammation, increase antioxidants, and help your veins and arteries look good. Okay. 11 would be garlic, <laughs> fresh, raw garlic. You can cook with it too, as well. You can take supplements even, even though I'm not, going, I'm not getting into supplements just yet, but it does decrease your LDL, and it does decrease oxidative stress. Okay, so garlic is on the top 12. And then last, but certainly not least, is the sweet potato, okay? It is high in fiber, it is high in antioxidant properties. You know, I always don't like to put too many starches in here because then we're like, oh, well she said blah, but um, you have to eat it with a fat. So butter, ghee, coconut butter, something like that, because you're gonna get the antioxidant properties, you're gonna get the fiber properties, and it tastes good, it's good comfort food. But again, don't go overboard on all of these, okay? Really, um, really just eat whole foods that are good for you. You will just be so blessed by it. So this, remember, cholesterol is not necessarily the culprit, it's inflammation in the body. These foods will help you to deflame the body. So again, thank you for allowing me to help you take your next step together towards health. Bless you and have a great day. And here we go. Let's lower that cholesterol.